Seventh fight for tonight, Anesis Yakbor, with a record of one win, one loss, and one draw, is facing Gadia Manuel, with a record of four wins, zero losses, and one draw. You know, did you see the what happened in the wins between these two? I heard that they they got in like a bit of a scuffle. Yeah. And, uh, Manuel grabbed uh, Ernesto by the throw. It's yeah. Be interesting. So Ernesto said that I'm gonna teach him how to be humble right now in this cage i remember he said he was going to use his muay thai and stop the takedowns and already he's come out in a very tight stance nice Looks taking on defense and he goes and for, a guillotine. for a guillotine that I don't out of guard he actually might get choked right here with the von fluke choke uh this is not the best strategy for a guy that wanted to stay on his feet he he committed the, for that guillotine yeah. Two months without. And it. with the MMA gloves, a Von Flu choke is much, much easier to grab. Let's see what Manuel can bring from the side control. He's trying to use elbows in the bottom. It's not the best strategy. He, he, he keeps low. Manuel seems very confident on the ground. Staying nice and steady, good base. Let's see Ernesto if he can really recover the guard or get back up. His his coach is ah, oh, and he good timed explosion by Ernesto. Oh, but he gets the back. Ernesto exploding, oh. trying to turn, and they're in a, a big scramble here. Ernesto rotates again and into the mound. Into the mound and close to the cage. Trying to hold on from his opponent. Big shot. Twin punches for Manuel. He tries, and he Manuel ma is chasing the back all the time. And so and far, he's doing really good. And Ernesto is fighting tooth and nail to get into the guard. And it looks like he's about to be. He's oh, about to get an armbar. Arm and Ernesto and escapes. Great escape. Ernesto, Ernesto. just put himself straight in the triangle choke. But no advantage taken by Manuel. Good work by Ernesto getting out of those situations. Good work. Very strong insane guy. Insane pace. If, if I was Ernesto, I would say with a really strong base. I wouldn't risk it. Stay on top and use elbow strikes from the guard. He needs to set his head free, posture up, and learn some clean strikes. You don't need as much posturing with the elbows, and that's why I think that it's the most underutilized weapon for ground and pound in this event so far I've seen. You just try to step over, big mistake. Oh. And the reversal from Manuel. Now Ernesto 
Ernesto, to defend the guard. Ernesto is using Up explosion. Kick on the chest. And again, easily pass the guard. And again, going for that guillotine. Manuel is totally safe from that guillotine. He doesn't even yeah, have to try no, to yeah, defend it. He, it's actually just waste energy for Ernesto. If I was Ernesto, I would try to use my hip escape, get my underhooks. I mean, he, his game plan initially was to keep the tie clinching, land some strikes from there, and defend the takedowns. But ever he, since he went for that guillotine... It seems that he's fallen in love with it, you know. That, that happens quite a bit. Nice elbows from yeah, Manuel. Yeah, yeah. Great elbows landing on Ernesto's head. Ernesto is holding on. Manuel trying to create some space. There ain't much really going on here other than Emmanuel's, con Emmanuel's controlling the position in Ernesto. He's trying to grab a guillotine from side control, which doesn't work. He's not escaping his hips. He's just trying to like explode and get space. Uh, Ernesto is holding. No his, hip escape, no trying to create space, no underhook fighting. And instead of creating space, Ernesto is holding his opponent on him. He's hugging his head all the time, doing the work for him. This is a quite simple... Oh, he gave... He, he, it looks like Ernesto's cut with those elbows, Emmanuel's left eye, or right eye, sorry. The cut se seems small, though. Yeah. It's nothing that the referee will stop now. But Big he elbow. Play some <laughs> in the next round. Entering the second round, Manuel looks so fresh. He looks ready to get into another fight. Nice oh, spinning nice kick. kick. But Emmanuel nice. hits him. Desperate shot, oh. but no sense of a sprawl. No sense of takedown defense from Ernesto whatsoever. We need Ernesto to move his hips if he wants to get out of these positions. Sprawl back. Push the head down. I, I think that he was too wild chasing the moment before. He was too wild, didn't take care of his steps or his hand position. Emmanuel was fighting Man very, very timid on his feet. And Ernesto has put himself in the crucifix. And now Manuel going for an Americana. No, letting go. And Ernesto holding once more the head of Manuel. If he had let go of that head and pushed away to get up, he might have got away. Instead, he goes for that guillotine. This is something him and his team have to go over on and say, look, if we don't got the guillotine, we got to let it go. We got to push him away. We got to use our hip escape. Now hugging his opponent from the other side. He's holding his opponent in place. That will not help him escape this position. Every time that he's putting his arm in front of Manuel's face. He needs a lot, oh, a lot of work in his jiu-jitsu. No mount, no defense of the mount. Oh, good and strikes, Manuel. good strikes for Manuel. This could be the end. This could be the end. Landing clean. Mavridis is looking right over. Manuel is landing clean. Punches on Ernesto's He's head. He's not defending himself. 
The ref's gonna stop this fight, probably. And somehow, Ernesto survived. And Ernesto survived this savage attack. This brutalization on the ground by Manuel has been... Ernesto has had no answer whatsoever. And there's the armbar. Oh, an armbar attempt from Manuel. Ernesto's trying to step over. You see, it looks quite deep. It looks really deep, and Ernesto oh, and Ernesto fights out. Escapes. And escapes about, once again. This now is his an opportunity. This is he his cannot only opportunity. waste his opportunity. He has to strike. Manuel recovers the guard. Ernesto spent way too much time holding, not enough time striking there. You don't want to get in a grappling exchange with this guy. Ernesto is holding again. He wasted a, a little bit of time right now holding his head. And, and now his arms are trapped under Manuel's armpits. Yeah, he, he doesn't seem to have anything from the guard and gets easily turned over. Another amount for Manuel. Can he finish the fight now? Will this ground and pound be the end of the fight? I don't know if he wants it to go one more round. Oh, big shot. Big ground and pound from Manuel. Oh, big, big elbow. Ernesto holding on, but not trying to escape. He's not gonna help him get out of this difficult position. <laughs> Ernesto can barely defend. It doesn't seem like Ernesto has anything left. Big shots here. The referee could the stop the fight any moment now. Yeah, these are clean strikes. He is not intelligently defending himself. And he, he tries to turn his back, Emmanuel pulls him back in the mount and continues just brutalizing punishment. Manuel's actually, Manuel's actually quite gassed from striking. He's gassed. Ernesto trying to escape. Ernesto only does enough of the fight not to get stopped. At this point, wow. That is the end of the second round. Everybody's with me. Happens the third round. Manuel with a body kick. Oh, oh head, head kick, kick to Manuel. Ernesto. An axe kick barely misses. Ernesto is going sloppy punches. He's very tired. His hands are down. He's stepping in a weird way. Ernesto is stepping in a really weird way. He's like walking on his opponent. Yeah. While Manuel is totally keeping his stance and his rhythm on his feet. Nice side. Oh, big shot. And again, and the take the other sprawl. Down. Is he going to keep the sprawl? Yes, another sprawl. He needs to push his head down and get it under his body and kick away. This is his opportunity to keep his opponent down. If he, if he, he should let go down. and push away. Let go and push away. He's going to, Ernesto and should not scoot his legs in. That's a big dangerous move. He's gonna move. give the single leg to his opponent. He good bro, the there side. you go. That's a good move by Ness over there. If I was him, yeah, I would grab an underhook and stand back up. Like, there you go. Manuel got paralyzed totally from this position. Yeah. He doesn't, he cannot see a leg close yeah. to him to grab. Right now, just step now. back. If I was a man, I would just step back. There is no point. There is no point to try to engage. Manuel obviously is a much superior grappler. And let's see what Ernesto could do. 
This is his opportunity. He needs a knockout to win. Can he make the twist? Oh, head kick right now. And head kick, another head kick. He barely misses. And Ernesto going in. Oh, spinning back kick finally. Oh, and nice left hook land by Ernesto. And again, another shot defense by Ernesto. If he goes with this guillotine again, it will be a very big mistake. And it looks like he might do it. All he needs is the underhooks. There you go. He just needs to keep this position and keep punching whenever yeah, he, needs he gets strikes a right now. Definitely needs strikes. He should keep the pressure on Manuel's neck with one hand and hit with the other. You can't completely. He has his hip trailer, but he's going to reach and grab something. Yeah, he needs to circle off of the cage, circle around. Because once he reaches the cage, his legs are going to come up close. The referee sends them up again. Yeah, Marie sends the fight back up. Oh, nice jab. Ernesto is chasing. He's trying to. This is, like, this would be a huge twist. mistake if he goes there. Very good. And there's a clinch that he was. If Ernesto had done this in the first round, but, we would have been in a very different fight right now. But he's losing the clinch. He's building it again. This is a big mistake again, right oh, there. Oh, good one. Great takedown from Manuel Gazga. Ernesto just didn't have the cage awareness in order to stay off of the cage. Great work from Manuel. He Ernesto showing... was doing well in this round. Yeah, I think Emmanuel got a little bit gassed. He, he missed a couple takedowns, and uh, now he saw a little mistake made by Ernesto. He capitalized on it. It was great work. Ernesto is trying to stand up with his upper body. Ernesto has quite the hematoma on the side of his head. Uh, we got a good doctor here. Oh, Dr. another Ernesto. time of the mouth. Oh, nice turn. If you lose it. Oh, oh great big shot from Ernesto. Big shots from Ernesto. Heavy punches. This might be his one opportunity. Dream. He should not grab. He should strike. He needs to strike right now. Manuel is very tired. Ernesto it looks like the fresher fighter. He needs to start throwing heavy shots. Trying to go into the half guard that way is not going to work. He needs a posture up and big shots. I would even just stand up now he's in the full guard. That's not going to be an option. First of all, he needs to pull his opponent's head on the cage. Oh, big nice shot. shot. Probably found the chest. You know, right now, Manuel is just surviving. He knows he has two rounds in the book. Yeah. Big oh, swing. Oh, excellent scissor shoot yeah. from Manuel Gatsga. Excellent work on the ground in this fight from Manuel Gatsga. Manuel is a high level jiu jitsu artist. You can tell much, much higher. Last 10 seconds of the fight. And big Can't shot. Can he finish it?